Now I'd like to tie for you a Prince nymph. The hook I have in the vise is a two extra long nymph hook. This is a size 12. I'm going to start out with 15 thousandths lead wire. And I'm going to wrap the lead wire, starting it almost at the bend. And I'm bringing that right up to the front. And just before I hit the eye, I'm going to break it off. The thread is 6 aught, 70 denier, and black. Tie the thread in front of the eye and wrap the lead wire. When you get to the back, wrap several wraps in the back. And break off your excess and now you can wrap back and forth a couple of times the tail is a pair of brown goose biots and you want to use those natural curves in those goose biots to help you split the tails going to tie on one at a time and I want this tail to be just the length of the, of the shank at most bring it around to the side take my second place it on the opposite side And wrap, wrap it right to the back. Get a nice divi divided tail. And wrap the rest of it up the lead wraps. And this will cover the lead wraps. Remove the excess. The bottom still has the lead wrap showing. And the top is covered nicely. For the rib, I'm going to use number 16 gold and silver tinsel. This is a small tinsel. When the tinsel is wrapped, we want to see gold. So I'm going to tie it so I see silver. Tie the gold side to the shank. Tie it in tight to the tail. The body is peacock curl. Pick through your peacock curl, get a nice green color, two nice green colored ones. And tie them in. Try to tie them in on the bottom if you can. That will help the fill in the gaps of the lead wire once again. And bring your thread up to the front. And stop a good eye length from the eye of the hook. I'm going to take Super glue and put super glue on the build up and wrap the peacock curl. and one got away on me to wrap that one to catch up and you can see the, the super glue is holding that right there in place
and wrap that right up to the front. This is a fantastic trout fly. When nothing else seems to work, give this a shot. And you'll be surprised at the number of fish you catch. And I have to put a thread wrap there because the one is short. And I'm going to give the second one a couple of more wraps. And tie that off. And you can just break away the excess or trim it off. I'm going to take the tinsel and wrap it, palmer it forward. Tie it off at the front. Pull it back. Put a couple wraps on top of it. And trim away the, ec the hackle. I have a soft brown hackle. This is just a shoulder feather off a Indian cape. I'm going to tie it in by the tip. <gasps> Trim off the excess going to pull the hackles to one side as much as I can and wrap them and tie it off Trim away the excess. Going to push the hackle from the top to divide it to both sides. And I'm going to pull them back and tie them in. And I'm going to come back on it just one thread wrap. And I have a trim. You can take a couple of the hackles off the top and trim them off. The wing is going to be a pair of white goose biots. I'm going to tie them in one at a time, the concave side down. You don't want a big X, but you want to tie it in an X pattern. And take the second. Bring it to size. There we go. And tie that down.
trim away the excess and tie off the head. going to take my whip finisher when you use a whip finisher you don't want to have a lot of tension on it you want to keep the spindle or the bobbin side kind of loose And here we have the Prince Nymph. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would share my channel with your friends. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. Check out my website, theflymangym.com. And most of all, I think thank you very much for watching my videos.